Well, there we go. Now I can start collaring it in for the top. You'll notice it's not even up at the top. That's because the unevenness of the clay as you're throwing is pulled up and it manifests itself right across the top here. You just take your needle tool, lay it beside your finger, push through till it touches the other finger, pull it off. And that will help get rid of the unevenness at the top. I usually do that before I collar it in so that the lip of the jug stays pretty straight. It'll still need another trim or two, probably. So I'm going to start the collaring process. And just collar a little bit. Reach in and as you collar something in, you're thickening the clay. And this pulls out the thickness again. Notice that my inside hand, whatever I can, I touch my outside hand with my inside hand. That just lets these fingers know where the other one is a little better. Okay, we're going to go ahead and collar in the top. Now, as clay gets narrower, the speed of the wheel could be faster. In fact, if it's too slow when you're narrowing in the neck of this, it gets all out of shape. I'll speed it up a little bit. Top off. Let's push towards the middle. Set it again. I generally don't have to cut it off this many times because I'm not talking while I do it. So it doesn't take me quite as many passes to get a jug necked in. Except when I'm thinking about it, trying to describe it. Get it in about where I want. Then I like to bring the deck up again. Stands up off the jug a little bit just to give you a place to stick a handle and I think it looks better. With a little extra height. Uh, tools I use are a lot of my fingers and stuff. I have this one fingernail that they keep a little long on my little finger. That's so I could use it for decorating when I throw. Like that. This is an old uh, plaster turning tool, and it's about worn down. I don't uh, trim the pots if I can help it after they're dry. I like to do it while they're wet. About the only thing I'll trim a bottom on is a bowl where it has to be, when it's wide, it has to have wider support. That's about all I'll, I'll trim. Take the plaster tool, and I start right up here. And I go straight down. Separate it. When I get the wheel head, I just lay it over and it just cuts all that uh, extra clay off. Saves a step later. And uh, I think that a lot of the jug makers did something similar to this. I have some antique jugs and it looks like they just uh, used something to trim it off. I don't, I don't think it was a plaster tool. But they did trim jugs later. You can do this two or three times, and as you notice, I've already hit this, so it's already got a bump in it. That's good. It shows part of the process. Of 
once I get it where I want it, as far as the width of the base, I trim down the wheel head, about that last bit of clay. Then I turn it under right here at the end. Give a little foot. Where it looks like the jug's setting up off the table. It's not plastered into the table. Gets a little more lightness. And I can at this point if I want to I can use a rubber rib to smooth the outside. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Helps push the grog that's in the clay back in. And give a smooth surface to sculpt on. And let's just sort of relieve some of the bumps that you put in it. I use corks for a lot of the jugs, simply because I bought about a thousand corks in about 1975, but I haven't figured out what to do with all of them yet, so. The size, I cork, the size of cork I have most is this size, I don't know what size it is, it's a little rough top cork. But the way I measure, because clay is going to shrink, so I have to measure the size of this hole so that when it shrinks, the cork will fit in it. The best way I've found to do is turn the cork upside down and get it about as wide as the widest point of the top of the cork. That way when the jug shrinks and when you nail the cork into it, it'll go down about like that. Okay. Now I have a piece of twisted fishing line I used to cut these free from the bat. There we go. Wipe the goo off of your hands. And you can actually take the jug, pick it up, move it over wherever you need it. You can throw another, you can throw as many as you want here on this one bat. But, There's a jug to start with.